Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. I'm getting ready to do another weekly reading for you guys for the month of September. Keep in mind, this is just a general reading, okay? So this may or may not resonate with you. Also keep in mind, energies can be reversed. I can be talking about you or your person. Uh, check your birth chart if this does not resonate. And everything else about this reading will be in the description box below, including on how to contact me for a personal reading, okay? Let's get four cards for the sign of Gemini. Get four cards for Gemini. All right, so wisdom at the bottom of the deck. We have financial material changes, a five. We have harmony, a six. Hope, 17, breaks down to an 8, and then we have balance, 11. Um, I'm getting twin flame vibes for you guys. Um, or somebody that, somebody that really makes you feel happy. Someone that you can learn from. Um, someone that brings balance. But, like, balance in a way that it's not that they bring you balance it's like when you're around them you feel balanced yourself it's like they're teaching you how to be balanced tell me about financial material changes here for Gemini financial material changes for Gemini I saw the three of swords um there could have been a breakup here that had a lot to do with the finances. Maybe the finances were involved for some of you. Um, tell me about harmony here. Why is harmony here for Gemini? It's like somebody, it's a third party energy going on. Eight of Wands. Back and forth communication. Maybe you and this person are very um, happy speaking back and forth to each other, texting. Tell me about hope here for Gemini. Tell me about hope for Gemini. Also, I'm hearing that maybe you, um, oh my gosh, the lovers. Okay, Gemini energy. You could be leaving something and starting something new fast. Someone that you connect very well with. Tell me about balance here for Gemini. Alright. Ten of Wands wanted to come out. So I'll take it. Um, so here's the thing. It's like they're helping you put down a burden. We got eight to the nine. It's like they're helping you put down a burden. They're helping you heal your heart. They're helping you you have a lot of harmony with this person. Like they make you happy. We're gonna get into it with tarot. What do we have for the sign of Gemini right now? What do we have for the sign of Gemini right now? Sun, rising, and Venus signs. I have for Gemini right now. Sun, rising, and Venus signs. All right, so we have the two of wands here. Fire energy. We have the Three of Pentacles, Earth Energy. We have the Nine of Cups, Water, the Devil here, Capricorn Energy, Strength, Leo. All right, so we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. We have the Six of Swords here, it could be Aquarius. We have the Ace of Cups. I was getting vibes of a new love coming in planning for a new love but kind of holding back from it yeah four wands at the bottom here someone is 
I don't know. Someone might be a little bit toxic to work with. It could be the past person that's really toxic to work with. If you're leaving someone and moving on to someone else. Tell me about the two of wands here for Gemini. Two of wands for Gemini. All right, Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Someone wants to come in and bring an offer to you. They could be a young water sign, young earth sign. Um, they want to communicate. What else? Tell me about the Three of Pentacles here for Gemini. All right, Eight of Pentacles. They want to put the effort in. They want to work because that's what makes them happy here. Hmm. This offer could have been coming in slow before. I don't know, that's for some of you. Tell me about the Nine of Cups here for Gemini. Nine of Cups for Gemini. It might take a little while, I'm hearing. Knight of Pentacles. Two Knights. Queen of Swords at the bottom. What's going on here? Are there three people involved? I feel like some, there's a Queen of Swords, there's a feminine energy here cutting out one of these knights. She's cutting out one of them here for someone new. Tell me about this Ace of Cups here for Gemini. Ace of Cups for Gemini. Ace of Cups. I'm not playing with you guys. Or someone is becoming single. Someone is trying to become single. And they are. They're single, happy, and abundant. They're in the spotlight here. It could be both. It's like one of those things like the Ace of Cups can represent new love or it can represent self-love too. And I think what you're doing here is you're, you're either, I th I'm hearing all kinds of things for you right now, Gemini. I'm hearing you're very strong. You're coming off as very strong. You're holding back from someone or something. And it's like this person, clarify the Six of Swords, please, for Gemini. Why is the Six of Swords here for Gemini? judgment someone made a judgment call to move on the calmer waters oh they're gonna come in and tell you something here they're gonna rush in and tell you something okay it's like what they're gonna tell you is that they have to they're going through a tower moment they could be going through something right now all right tell me about the devil here why is the devil here for Gemini? What's this devil about for Gemini? Page of Cups. Someone could be a little bit obsessed with you. But we have the Seven of Swords here. You could be obsessed with someone else. We have the Seven of Swords here. Someone did something unfair. Someone does things unfair when they... Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Someone does things unfair or they say things unfair when they message you and that might be their toxic trait. Tell me about the strength card here. Why is the strength card here for Gemini? It's like the Seven of Swords that keeps wanting to come out. It's like you're holding yourself back from this person. Yeah, you're holding yourself back from this connection. It's like they feel left out in the cold of this whole situation, of this relationship. They feel like you betrayed them. I'm really coming off uh, of the energy that they probably feel like you betrayed them, but that might not be the case. I think you're just trying to plan on, I don't know, they might think you betrayed them because earlier I said someone's cutting out one of these nights depending on what night that is for you. Tell me about the Hermit card here. Why is Hermit here for Gemini? Why is the Hermit here for Gemini? Three of Cups. Reconciliation. Maybe reconciliation with a Virgo. There's a lot of people involved. There's a lot of people involved and there's some toxicity going on here. Someone's trying to apologize. Oh, someone wants to apologize for toxicity and a situation with a lot of people. Wow. 
I wish I can get deeper into it. But we gotta pull out these romance angels. This is a twin flame connection, though. Um, you're holding yourself back from this person. I don't think you trust them. That's what's going on. You don't trust them now. And you, either you're moving on to someone else or you're starting to love yourself. It could be cool both ways. Tell me about Gemini. It's a message for Gemini. Okay, what's the message for Gemini? No. What's the message for Gemini? It's like this person wants to work, put the effort in now. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, so at the bottom we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing, spiritual path. You guys could be a little bit different from each other. Okay, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So I feel like that's that's what's happening now. Both things are happening for you. We have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy here. So you're freeing yourself from an ex and reconciling with maybe someone that um, could be a soulmate twin flame connection here. Someone from your past. Children, your love life is being affected by children. You guys could have children together, but I'm also getting that energy that it's like someone from your past. Someone maybe that you probably grew up with. That's the type of energy I'm getting. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like, three cups in the Hermit card. They want to um, reconcile with you and separate. They gotta get you away from something. There's a lot of people involved. That's what I'm hearing. But, alright, uh, Gemini, that was your reading. I hope it gave you guys some clarity. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I will see you guys in your next reading. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.